Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are having a magnificent day. I am. I had a haircut and I'm feeling quite great. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to actually add objects into your assets that you can access. I've seen a lot of tutorial kind of showcasing the new feature, but I've not really seen one that um, shows you how you can add this to your own workflow and use it. So we're going to be starting from going to blender.org. So in case you don't, you don't have the new, the version of blender or you don't know where you can find it. So once you come here, you want to click on download and then you want to go to, uh, builds here. You will find all the experimental builds of blender and you can download it. So this is 3.0. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is where you can find the, the asset browser okay so once you have that we can now jump into blender so here inside blender we can just click I created a tab for my asset library but it's quite easy to set up you can bring up this new window and we can select asset browser so this is how it looks so we'll just quickly go over the interface then I'll show you what I have set up uh, so you have view. This is typical with all the uh, interfaces of Blender. You have select object, just basically um, things you see everywhere. And then this is where you can choose the um, directory of where the asset is located. We'll talk about this in a bit. And then important, importantly, you want to decide if you want it to be linked from an asset or appended. Um, it's smart that they left it at append because uh, in most scenarios, You'll be using the append feature because you want it in your blender scene as a local object so for the link this will probably be for maybe if you're working in a production so rather than going here to link files you can just link it here and it's just easy to select and preview like that okay so i will show you how mine looks like i click on my asset library this is custom a custom interface we can go to character base because I am mainly a character artist and I like to start with a um, lot of base models for my project client most especially client project so I just quickly all the OBJ object and FDX object I usually import I just have it here so I could just easily drag in this head model so I, I, I want I would love that if you drag it in it can give the option whether to center it uh, but if it if you want it to be in the center you want to make sure your 3d cursor is right in the center and to make that happen if you press shift s so cursor to world origin a very quick shortcut is shift c it's going to center the um, cursor to this world origin and then you can do shift s select uh, selection to cursor and it's going to place it right in the center of your scene so this is quite helpful to just quickly import objects and different assets okay so let's create our own asset library so for you to do that you want to have your own custom folder like I did here so this is the current fabland file and this is my custom folder to do that, you want to go to File, oh sorry, you want to go to Edit, Preference, and you want to click on File Paths. Here you will see Asset Libraries, and you it will indicate all the um, file, file paths you have in your scene. Okay, so I have one here, this is the one which we just saw. So we could add another one by hitting the plus button, and it allows you to locate where your blend files are or create a new file part for your blend files so i'll click on this to create a new one i'll just quickly create one on the desktop and i'll create a new folder and call this tutorial okay so this is going to be the folder where i'm going to store all those assets okay so once you've done that you can just hit accept and that's it so importantly you want to give it a name so we'll have to call this tutorial if you don't give it a, a name it's not going to show up here so you have to do that so we'll call this tutorial and you can go ahead and save this preference if you want I'm just going to leave it as it is 
So now we can access the tutorial folder. So how do you save files into these folders? To do that, let's quickly import an asset. So I'm just going to import an OBJ uh, props. Let's see. So I'm going to just place this right in the center of the scene. So let's say this is the asset we want to save out to that folder. So all we need to do is to save this blend file into this tutorial folder which we created to store the assets. So, so I can call this boot and save blend, blend scene. So what you want to do now is to right click here, go to data and mark asset. So once you've done that and saved the file, it should be saved there and you have an asset now. So if you want to add multiple um, objects, so let's say this is the um, boot one, let's add another asset for shoes. Let's do uh, buckle. So this is like, it aids me to if not model this every single time. So I have this and I will just mark this as an asset. I can just name this correctly. Okay, so once we've saved this file and we go to object and collection, you can notice it's not here, so we can try reloading it. Um, it's not here. So to use this, you have to go to a new scene. And now if you go to tutorial, object and collection, you can see we have it there and you can just drag it into your scene. So I'm, I know this is kind of still in the early stage and a lot of work will be done to kind of give the user, which, are, which is our small control, to be able to control the preview and do other cool stuff. Like the snapping feature is not even yet implemented in the, the branch. Uh, so yeah, all of that is coming. But for now, this is just basically the way you can quickly set up assets to use in your scene. So I hope this tutorial is helpful and you learned something from it. If you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it so that YouTube can recommend it to more Blender users. So thank you so much for watching it again. Bye bye for now. See you next time.